Hello there folks and welcome back to another exciting video. Today in this video, we'll go through an in-depth tutorial on Coinbase, how to use it, how to trade and open an account, basically every little detail that will help the beginners. So stay tuned until the end and also like, comment, share and subscribe to the channel. The reward link will be in the description, so make sure to keep an eye on it. Now let's get started. You've probably heard of Coinbase if you want to start trading cryptocurrencies. Coinbase is a cryptocurrency exchange that allows you to purchase, sell and hold digital currencies such as Bitcoin and Ethereum. Now that cryptocurrency is becoming more common, there are various options for buying and selling coins on your own, including Venmo, Cash App and trading apps like Robinhood. Coinbase, on the other hand, is a popular choice with 73 million confirmed users. Many interpreted the company's public launch in April 2021 as a statement of support for digital currencies in general. Here's everything you need to learn about cryptocurrency trading on Coinbase, including how to use it. Coinbase is a cryptocurrency exchange that lets customers buy, sell, and store over 100 different digital currencies. Coinbase is oriented toward beginners, but the Coinbase Pro, the premium service, is for experienced traders who trade in large volumes and want more trading alternatives. Investing through applications like Robinhood has become increasingly popular recently. Coinbase is reaping the advantages of the cryptocurrency boom. In the third quarter of 2021, the company's expected revenue was $1.31 billion. Coinbase may currently be found in over 100 countries. The platform is really simple to use. Users may see their balance and a watch list, similar to many other trading apps, which allows users to track the prices of various cryptocurrencies. Traders might also look at which cryptocurrencies are moving the most. Coinbase is also launching Coinbase Card, a Visa debit card that allows consumers to earn rewards by spending their portfolio's assets. Coinbase unveiled a new direct deposit service in September that allows users to have their salaries immediately deposited into Coinbase and have their money automatically paid as Bitcoin or perhaps another cryptocurrency. Unlike Robinhood, which advertises free trading, Coinbase charges a fee for trading on the platform. Trading fees differ between Coinbase and Coinbase Pro, with Coinbase fees being greater and more difficult. When you buy or sell cryptocurrencies, Coinbase charges a spread of around 0.5%, as well as a Coinbase price, which is a flat fee or defined by criteria such as your location and the form of payment you use. This flat cost is determined by the transaction amount and is detailed on Coinbase's fee page. For example, if a consumer wants to buy $100 worth of Bitcoin using a US bank account or a digital wallet, the flat cost is $2.99 and the variable fee is $1.49, resulting in a $2.99 transaction fee. The variable cost would go to $3.99 if the customer paid with a debit card, so that's what they'd pay. Coinbase Pro provides a simplified tiered fee system for larger transactions with fees ranging from 0% to 0.5% per trade and lower charges for larger dollar transactions. A transaction of less than $10,000, for example, has a 0.5% cost, while one of $10,000 to $50,000 has a 0.35% fee. All of this should, of course, give you pause as an investor. Buying low and selling high should always be your goal. Although no one exactly knows where cryptocurrency prices will go next, recent high prices make it even more difficult for investors to benefit in the future. How to buy and sell cryptocurrency with Coinbase Now is the time to choose your cryptocurrency. According to Hannah Halliburta, an associate professor at NYU Stern School of Business, Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin, and Bitcoin Cash, the four varieties of cryptocurrencies available for PayPal clients to buy and sell, are among the safest. Because they're among the most prominent and expensive cryptocurrencies, more processing power is dedicated to maintaining their blockchain, the technology that underpins cryptocurrencies, making them more difficult to hack. 
they've also been there for a long time. So if there had been a bug, she says, we'd know about it. Buying Bitcoin at a price of over $67,000 per coin is unlikely to be an option for most investors. Ethereum costs over $4,000 per coin, and even Litecoin at over $200 might be too much for you. Coinbase, on the other hand, allows customers to purchase a fraction of a coin. Investing applications like Robinhood frequently allow traders to acquire fractional shares, such as $25 in Amazon, instead of the more than $3,000 required to purchase a complete share. Traders either buy or sell digital money for as little as $2 on Coinbase. However, this does not negate the fact that there are legitimate concerns. Just look at the recent spike in Dogecoin's price, or how Bitcoin hit a new high in December 2017 before plummeting 50% the following month. Digital currencies are also not subject to the same regulations as regular assets. The Securities and Exchange Commission must inspect a corporation before it may sell its stock to the general public. Before an investment advisor can propose a stock, they must be certain that it is in the best interest of the investor, according to James Angel, a marketing professor at Georgetown University. There are many investor protections that crypto does not provide. Furthermore, because cryptocurrencies have no fundamental value, the speculative asset is solely dependent on the market's assessment of its worth. To summarize, only invest what you're willing to lose. Anyone who walks in should be well aware that they're playing a financial musical chairs game, Angel adds. Is Coinbase a safe place to purchase and trade cryptocurrency? You'll need a digital wallet to purchase and sell Bitcoin, as well as a place to keep your money in between transactions. A digital wallet, unlike a traditional wallet, has an additional concern. Is it safe from hackers? There are several alternatives available, each with its own set of security features. You can utilize a hosted wallet if you don't want to bother about keeping your cryptocurrency distinct from the Coinbase app. This wallet is managed by a third party, in this scenario, Coinbase, so you don't have to worry about losing all your cryptocurrency if you forget your password. This is a reasonable issue. Some crypto traders have lost millions or billions of dollars due to forgetting how to access their wallets. Unlike your bank account or investment portfolio, cryptocurrency is not protected by the Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation or FDIC or the Securities Investor Protection Corporation. However, Coinbase claims to cover all digital currency against theft due to a security breach or hack, employee theft or fraudulent transfer, but not unauthorized account access. According to the corporation, 98% or more of its customers' digital currency is kept offline. Both Coinbase and Coinbase Pro are FDIC insured up to $250,000 in balances. You can use a non-custodial wallet if you want a complete control over your cryptocurrency without involving a third party. While the third party will not be hacked, you must remember your password or run the risk of losing your cryptocurrency. However, having more power allows you to engage in more advanced activities such as yield farming, which allows cryptocurrency owners to lend out their assets in exchange for larger returns. Customers can download the Coinbase wallet, which is a non-custodial wallet, separately from the app. A cold wallet, also known as a hardware wallet, is a physical device like a USB that is not linked to the internet and provides security against even your computer being hijacked. Customer Services One of the most common complaints people have about Coinbase is the lack of customer care. Because it's practically hard to reach a human for assistance, think of Coinbase as mostly self-service. The Coinbase help page, emailed support tickets, an automated phone system, and a chatbot are an officially supported customer service alternatives. Customer Satisfaction When everything goes as planned, you're likely to be a satisfied customer. Customer evaluations suggest bad customer service interactions and minimal help handling frauds, hacked accounts, and frozen accounts when things didn't go as expected. Coinbase, for example, has a Trustpilot rating of barely 1.6 stars based on over 6,000 reviews. Customer service, misplaced payments, and frozen accounts are the most common complaints. 
Customers on the other review sites expressed similar dissatisfaction. Coinbase also has a problem that many of its industry competitors seem to have. In fact, the Federal Trade Commission has received over 12,000 complaints and many former users claim they were left with little to no assistance after losing money due to stolen accounts. Management of Accounts The Coinbase website and mobile app let you access and administer your account at any time. You're never far away from checking your account balance or making a trade. The mobile app has everything that you need to manage your cryptocurrency on the go. How Coinbase measures up to other cryptocurrency firms With new rivals, the Bitcoin market is rapidly evolving. You may also handle your cryptocurrencies without using a huge centralized exchange such as Coinbase, Gemini, Binance, KuCoin, FTX, Kraken, and a slew of other exchanges compete with Coinbase. Gemini vs. Coinbase Gemini is one of Coinbase's most direct competitors. In this side-by-side -side comparison, Coinbase uses spread pricing, whereas Gemini uses fixed costs. Both companies are situated in the United States and deal with U.S. regulators, specifically FinCEN or the Financial Crimes Enforcement Network. Gemini's Gemini and Active Trader systems are comparable to Coinbase and Coinbase Pro. The most important distinctions, aside from the user interface, are the offered at currencies and opportunities to profit from your Bitcoin account. Coinbase allows users to earn up to 5% on a select number of coins. With rates as high as 8.05%, Gemini pays interest on practically all supported currencies. Coinbase is a leading marketplace for buying, selling, storing, and exchanging cryptocurrencies. It's especially useful for cryptocurrency newcomers who seek a straightforward purchasing and selling experience without having to deal with the complexity of external wallets and decentralized exchanges. Coinbase's pricing structure and customer support are its greatest drawbacks. Coinbase is a wonderful alternative for anyone wishing to get into cryptocurrencies if you can manage your account on your own and accept the fees. According to Chief Product Officer Sarojit Chatterjee, cryptocurrency exchange Coinbase is releasing a slew of new features for its popular wallet software. The product would prioritize three areas, API first, DeFi first, and self-custody first with the goal of boosting Web3 adoption into the mainstream, according to Cherogy at BlockWorks Permissionless Conference. Although Coinbase and other exchanges provide a critical fiat to crypto on-ramp, Cherogy believes that self-custody and DeFi remain too difficult for the typical consumer, decentralized finance. Coinbase hopes to simplify the process by integrating its pay software development kit into Coinbase Wallet or SDK. According to him, the leading browser-based Web3 wallet, Consensus MetaMask, would also support pay. Users will be able to purchase crypto assets with fiat and transfer them to their preferred self-custody wallet using pay. In the near future, the service will serve users who are not Coinbase customers via a guest checkout process. The inconvenient usage of large wallet addresses, the public key on Ethereum, begins with 0x. It's still a barrier to acceptance, according to Chatterjee. To simplify things, the Coinbase wallet will let users claim a free Ethereum name service or ENS address. According to a spokesman for Coinbase, ENS is only one of several services the company hopes to incorporate to address Web3 identity issues. Coinbase wants to become a secure source of Know Your Customer or KYC verification, which may be passed on to third-party dApps while ensuring user privacy with Zero Knowledge Proofs or ZKP. To accomplish this, the wallet will give developers access to an open ZKP SDK, which should allow them to verify required data without revealing a user's personal information, such as meeting a legal age of consent. Multi-Party Computation, or MPC, a cryptographic mechanism for safe private key management, utilized its institutional quality custodial solutions from companies like Fireblocks and Credo is also being rolled out as a self-custodial dApp wallet. 
Users can interact directly with DeFi apps like Compound and Uniswap by using a DApp wallet instead of the first withdrawing crypto assets from their Coinbase account to a self-custody account. Arjun's mobile wallets and browser-based wallets DeFi Saver and Insta DApp have similar functionalities. The Coinbase wallet is also getting ready to support all Ethereum virtual machine or EVM compatible blockchains, as well as a few others, such as Solana. The wallet will connect to Coinbase's new NFT marketplace, but it will also be able to interact with any other NFT or non-fungible token marketplace, letting users pool their NFTs. The new features began going out to a select group of Android users in the United States on Monday, with a wider rollout planned soon. And that's all for today. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, please like, subscribe, comment, share, and watch all our other videos for more such amazing crypto content.